the shotgun, puts Conley in motion, looks in his direction, it's picked off, it's picked off, it's Tracy Porter again, he's running free, he's got to go all the way, hands out stretch, it is a safe touchdown, 70 yards on the return, 70 yards on the return by Porter, he did it the far, and now he's done it to Manning. And Saints cornerback Tracy Porter is making the rounds courtesy of PPM mouth guards. And man, these guys must be loving you, right? <laughs> oh, Responsible yeah. for maybe the two biggest plays of the NFL season in the championship game and then sealing the deal in the Super Bowl. What moment for you kind of stands out in your mind of whether it's the play or, or afterward and celebration, what do you kind of hold on to? Um, I hold on to, you know, after, after that play, you know, once the game was over and the confetti started to fall, that was the moment that I remember the most because, uh, Got up on the podium, held up the trophy, and as soon as I got off the podium, first thing I did was grab my little one-year-old daughter and grabbed her in my arms. But that was the most moment that I, I remember so far. How many times have you described the play? <laughs> oh, man, I, I've lost count after about <laughs> 10. Uh, everyone wants to know what was I thinking. And I mean, it's just, just simple, uh, film study and believing in what you see. And I think that's important. At the corner position is you have to believe what you see and it, you can study as much film as you want and you can know it's coming but if you don't believe what you see and make the break then they catch the ball make the first down and possibly drive in and send in overtime you know once the parade was over and the attention is off new orleans but you're a louisiana guy what's it been like in the in the 10 11 days since what's still going on there everything i mean they're still they'll still uh hype down there in new orleans about the super bowl uh they're seeing a lot of our guys a lot of saints players around and when most fans, you know, they're going to congratulate players and, you know, say that was a nice season that you guys had. But people in New Orleans, I mean, they're a lot closer to the team than people may think. So they're, they're thanking us for bringing the trophy to New Orleans, bringing the first Super Bowl to New Orleans, and thanking us for just uh, the amount of work that we've put in the community, helping rebuild homes during Katrina. And uh, they're just happy for the success that we're having, but we know that they are just as big a part of uh, the New Orleans Saints and the Super Bowl as we are. What does that mean to you? To me, being a Louisiana guy, I mean, it, it means a lot. Especially being a fan, watching the Saints when uh, people were calling them Aints and having bags on their head. To be a part of that group, to bring the first Super Bowl to New Orleans, words can't describe on how I'm feeling right now. All right, your hometown is Port Allen, right? Yeah. And they're going to rename it Porter <laughs> Allen? Shouldn't you have to wait till you're 50 or something like that for that to happen? Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> but... I've done a great job in representing Port Allen thus far, and they want to change the name to Port Allen. I'm all for it. All right, you get a day with the trophy. That would at least deserve taking it to definitely. Port Allen. Definitely. I get right? my day with the trophy. It's definitely going back to uh, the now named Port Allen, and we're going to celebrate with it and take pictures with it. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, no problem. Ready to start talking about defending? The last team to repeat as Super Bowl champ was the Patriots, who won Super Bowls 38 and 39. Not only are the Patriots the last team to repeat, the 2005 Patriots are also the last defender.